are now at the Independence Square or the Blaster Square. This is the biggest and the third largest square in the world after the Tiananmen and the Red Square in Belgrade. Now, square this is where uh, Yabeko Railway. This is where Obama mm -hmm. confessed that the biggest welcome he has ever had or will ever have in his lifetime is here. When he came to Ghana, this, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. When he came to Ghana, this is why we hosted him. And people from all over, from Togo, from mm -hmm. Benin, from Nigeria, all over Ghana come here to welcome Dr. Kwame Kuma. Okay, go around here. Now, before Ghana became, we have various various Europeans who have come or reside in Ghana before the British took over as our colonial masters. We have Danish, we have the Danes, we have okay, we have the Danes. Now Accra was divided into three main zones. Accra was divided between three main European countries. We have Dutch Accra, uh, uh, we have Dutch Accra, we have British Accra, and then we have Danish Accra. This area was Danish Accra, and the Danes built the third largest castle in Ghana, the Christian Borg Castle. We are now on the no offense. We are now on the 24, 28 February crossroad. Now this very section. Now this very section ignited the independent of the country. Now this very intersection, this very intersection, three Ghanaian ex-servicemen were killed at this very spot. When they returned from the Second World War from Burma, the colonial government, the British colonial government promised them incentives. But when they returned, they were not given those compensations and the promises. So they decided to petition the governor at the castle, which used to be the seat of government. When they get to this very spot on the 28th of February, 1948, a British police officer ordered a local police officer to shoot at them because he asked them to stop. When he refused the order, Sergeant Emery, a British police officer, shoot at them. And three of the leaders who were leading the demonstration died. Namely, Sergeant Ajete, Copra Atipo, and Odate Lamte were killed here at this very spot and that ignited the independent struggle the more and in our history we call it the 1948 disturbances and that also give recommendation to the colonial government to establish a committee to see how they will move on and so this very spot that those three men were gone down, we have their statue, Yanko, just behind us. We will see it. Now, this used to be a very important security zone. The castle, or the Danish castle, was a seat of government. Until recently, 2013, 2014, that it was moved to the Jubilee House, or the Flagstaff House. Now, this castle was also seized by King Asumeni of Akramufie when he deceived the Danes that he's coming to bring them a lot of gold. Apparently he was coming with his warriors. And when he got there, he said, okay, let me see your guns and others before I show you. He came with the warriors and seized the castle, stayed here for some months before he relinquished the castle back to the Danes. 
So when you go to Akwemufia, the palace of the Akwemu chief, you will see the original keys because it's part of his bargaining. That I'm taking the original keys to my palace so that people will see that yes, I have taken over this before. So is there. And it's still a national security zone. So we have some government offices here. And it's also open. Open. Uh, there's a dungeon in there too. Because the slaves were also kept in this uh, uh, castle, the Christian Borg castle. So it's the third largest outside the Almina and the Cape Coast castle. Yeah, they all look dreadful and just mm -hmm. yes. terrible. Yeah. 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 Make this one of nightmares. Yeah. 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 Terrible. Yeah. By the water. Yes, yeah, seriously. Yeah. 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 Like, well, the, it is also said that the reason why we have more forts and castles. This is the newest part because the government make extensions for the office of the president at the time. The original one is behind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting tale. Mm -hmm. Turning into a president. The, the reason why we have more forts and castles dotted along the coast of Ghana than any other African country is because our coastline mm -hmm. is rocky. Yes. That supports the building of these forts and castles. Oh, now, coming up on my dungeon. on my right and on your left is the memorial park for the late is the burial ground of the late President Mills, Professor John Evans Atamels, mm -hmm. who ascended the presidency. Yes in 208 and unfortunately died as the sitting president he's the yeah. only sitting president yeah. we have heard um, uh, yeah, that they have uh, died whilst in office he was actually preparing to run for a second term and unfortunately he passed on and he this is a Sunday pack because he believed in non violence and peaceful means of uh, ruling the country. He is one of the, I would say that Ghana is not lucky to have him serve all his full term because out of the few of the many presidents we have, he's one of the finest. Yes. He's also a tax expert. He's also a lawyer, but he has all his, most of his time at the University of Ghana as a law professor. So that is the statue of the bath of Sergeant Ajete, Copra Tipo, and Odate Lamte. That is the Black Star Gate, as we call it. This was built to commemorate the, in honor of the Queen, when Ghana was gaining its Republican status. So we'll make a brief stop for photo shoot here and then we can um, go on and then I'll explain uh, the unknown soldier and then what we have. Then we can take some photos and then we go, we'll come here, have a photo and then we'll we we'll go to the top of the Black Star Gate and then we go. Yes, family, we've been driving and showing you this entire area. 
Now we're gonna show you a nice clean outside view. And straight ahead is the Black Star Stadium. Come on. 